All right, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to determine factors of polynomials, but we're going to do that when we're given one of the zeros of the polynomials. Because as we see right here, we have a cubic function, meaning its highest degree is, is 3. It has a, a term to the third power, so we can't just factor this like we factor quadratics. And so if I want to say we need to factor this, you'd, you'd kind of be up a creek, except it gives this information that negative 3 is a zero. Well, if negative 3 is a 0, or in other words, an x-intercept of this function, that means the related factor is x plus 3. That means, basically this means that x plus 3 is a factor, okay? Fact, oh, I'm running out of room, is a factor, okay? And so if I come over here, that means whenever I take this, I'm going to kind of write this out and set it up for synthetic division. What that would mean to us that if I tried to divide a 0 of negative 3 out of this polynomial, I should end up with a remainder of 0, but it's also going to tell us something else about the function. So let me go ahead and do our synthetic division right here. Um, we have 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. Then I add straight down, and I get a 1. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. I add straight down, negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 3 is going to be a positive 3. And then I add straight down and I get a 0. So we have a remainder of 0. This just confirmed what was already given to us, that negative 3 is a 0 of this function. But what this also gives us is it gives us this. This is, this is important. This tells us about the reduced polynomial. So it means that basically this original polynomial function could be rewritten using this factor that we were given. We were given this factor of x minus 3, but also it's reduced by dividing that out, you reduce it down to a quadratic. So we're left with 6x squared plus 1x minus 1. 6x squared plus 1x minus 1. Do you, hopefully you see how I got this quadratic using the, these three values. Okay? But now what you see is, okay, we know that Oh, I'm sorry, I wrote x minus 3 here. That should be an x plus 3. I apologize, because our factor was x plus 3, right? So we have one factor of x plus 3 that we already knew was a factor. And then we know that we have this quadratic that's our other factor. But we can factor this quadratic. We can, we can factor it down into linear factors using our old factoring method. So let's just kind of factor by grouping. I'm going to kind of come over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to factor 6x squared plus 1x minus 1. I'm going to factor this pretty quickly. I'm not going to spend a ton of time doing this. Um, I'm going to assume you already know how to factor. If not, you can watch one of my other videos on that. But what we have is we are going to break up our middle term. And so to do that, we're going to look for two numbers that multiply to give us a negative 6x squared. That's the product of the first and the last term. But we need those same two numbers whenever I add them together to give us a 1x. And hopefully you're saying, okay, those numbers should be 3x and negative 2x. And so whenever I break up my middle term into that, and then I copy down my first term and my last term, we're now ready to group. So if I group my first two terms, I can factor out a GCF of 3x. And when I look at my second two terms, I can factor out a GCF. There's not really a GCF, so I'm going to factor out a 1. And since the term on the left is a negative, I'm going to factor out a negative 1. And so there's my common factor. I'm going to factor the 2x plus 1 out to the front, leaving us with 3x minus 1. So basically what we have here is we have our x plus 3 factor, but what we've done with all this aside work over here is we've established that that quadratic can be rewritten as 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 1, okay? So, so this would be our final answer. This is the original polynomial rewritten as three linear factors. These are three linear factors because there's no exponents on them. And so how these problems normally work is you have to divide out the zero that's given, and then hopefully you've turned it into a quadratic. And once you've turned it into a quadratic, you can factor it using any method you want. Let's do one more example says, factor that polynomial given that 1 is a 0. Well, 
if 1 is a 0, that means that the, the related factor is x minus 1, okay? And so we got to kind of keep that in mind, but let's get ready to do some synthetic division. If I take our polynomial up here and set it up for synth synthetic division, I'm going to use all the coefficients. So we have 1, negative 2, negative 5, and 6. And we are trying to divide out of that a 1, since the 1 is the 0, okay? So 1 times 1 is 1. Then whenever I add straight down, I get negative 1. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. When I add straight down, I get negative 6. Negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. When I add straight down is 0. We should get 0 because we're already told that 1 is a 0 of the function, so we shouldn't have a remainder. Okay? If you get a remainder there, you've either done your synthetic division wrong or you've been given a bad problem. Now, so we know that one of our factors is x minus 1. We kind of already talked about that. But then what we're left with is we're left with our reduced polynomial. And the reduced polynomial here is going to be 1x squared minus 1x minus 6. And so we're going to come over here and we're going to do our side work. And we're going to factor 1x squared minus 1x minus 6. So as we do this, um, I am going to, I didn't give myself enough space here. I'll kind of come up here to do the aside work. We're looking for two numbers that when I multiply them, they give me negative 6x squared, but whenever I add them, they give me negative 1x. That looks like it's going to be negative 3x and positive 2x. Okay. That means I take my middle term and I rewrite it as negative 3x and positive 2x, and I just bring down my quadratic term and my constant, and I'm looking for the GCF out of those two. I don't really see a GCF there, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to factor out an x. And then I'm looking for the GCF out of these two terms, and it looks like a 2 is the GCF there. And when I factor that out, I'm left with x minus 3. Now our, our t uh, value that's in common in both terms is x minus 3, so I'm going to factor the x minus 3 out to the front, leaving us with x plus 2. And so what we did all that work for is we did all that so that we can come back over here and take this, um, this quadratic and rewrite it as the product of x minus 3 and x plus 2. But then we can't forget that we had our original factor right here that was given to us. So these are the three factors that if you multiply them back together would give you this polynomial. I just want to re-emphasize and summarize that the basic structure is that if you're given a zero or a factor, doesn't matter which one you're given, because if you're given one, you can tell the other, but you're going to divide that zero out of the function to get your reduced polynomial. Hopefully at this point, your reduced polynomial is a quadratic, and if it's a quadratic, you can factor it using traditional methods. If it's not a quadratic, then you're going to have to watch some more of my videos to figure out what to do.